Hello there guys, Corey here with Gotta Be Mobile and today we have the brand new Nexus 5 running Android 4.4 KitKat and uh, we've already showed you plenty of the Nexus already so what we wanted to do today was kind of dive into the new experience that is Android 4.4 so we shall be plenty familiar with Android as a whole but there's a few noteworthy features and changes, tweaks, kind of um, polish that Google has added to KitKat to kind of make it stand out so for one Right away, when you look at the screen here, you can see a couple of the, the small few differences. The uh, all the, the font here is now white, and uh, the launcher kind of experience has been it changed a little bit. The black nav navigation bar and on-screen notification buttons are both gone, which is one thing Google wants to do: give you that full screen experience. A lot of people complain that the on-screen navigation buttons only you know make the screen smaller, so Google has removed that. Now before we get too going here, one of the main things is Google Now. Google Now is front and center with everything on the on KitKat. So from the slide here, you swipe right over and you're instantly in Google Now. Of course, you can always slide up from the top like before, but it's also now just a slide away. So that might make some of you have to re really kind of think your strategy or design for your home screen because you know you can't have apps over there on that third page or second page of your home screen. Another thing is with the lock screen, same kind of situation we've always had unlocking, the lock screen widgets are available, the slide to uh, access the camera is available, and if I had more widgets over there enabled you could see those, but I don't. But now, instead of a weird little circle down here that doesn't really make much sense, there is an arrow telling you to go to Google Now to instantly launch that function. And then there's also a little icon visual representation reminding you that the camera can also be accessed here that wasn't there before so go ahead and slide into Google now and unlike the Moto X we don't have the always listening features but we can use it with our voice hands free so okay Google now maybe for one slide down you can see the new slide to refresh Google now has been slightly changed okay Google now pictures of the Nexus 5 Okay, Google Now. Maybe not. Nexus 5 release date. Yeah, good luck with that one. I think no one knew. But that was a look at Nexus 5. It also works over here with KitKat where, okay, Google Now, Android 4.4. It's all hands free to the point where you no longer have to actually use your hand. It's not quite as fancy. We kind of wish that we had all those functions of the Moto X with the always listening hands-free audio but it's not fully there but this will be available for Android 4.4 KitKat devices moving forward which is nice to be able to have that hands-free experience and another thing here with KitKat as you can see there's only this one page we only have one home screen the whole launcher has kind of been changed there's no longer widgets up here it's all kind of back to Android of old Widgets aren't in the app tray. The app tray now has that new kind of animation, and then it's even transparent like the rest of the phone to where you can see the background throughout. So, little visual indicators here showing I have the two screens, Google Now being one and my new home screen. Simply drag an icon to create a new home screen. And then if you want to do that again, simply slide to create another home screen. And as you can see, I now have the four dots down below. This is new with KitKat and the kind of home experience launcher. So now we have multiple pages like before. And to remove one, simply remove that. The dot disappears, and we are back to just what we had before. If I go ahead and remove that, I'm back down to just the one home screen. So it's very easy, very simple, very intuitive, quick, and there's no messing around. Again, you can push and hold and uh, kind of control them all if I had more than one, which I don't. Go ahead and add another one. We have multiple home screens again. If you push and hold, you'll be able to see them. You can't kind of arrange them from here, which would be really convenient. Hopefully Google adds that with uh, 4.41 or 2 or an update. So we can't control them here, but it's kind of an easy and quick visual representation. And then you can see this new iced theme here. Everything's kind of white to match the new font to uh, kind of give it that simple look. There's no more holo blues and it's all you know, light colored and a very clean look. So that's also where you get the widgets since they're no longer in the app tray with KitKat. You have to push and hold. So from there, widgets, you can go in here and get crazy with all those widgets we love here on Android. 
and uh, again here you can see this new kind of white ice theme throughout and then as well this is transparent and you can see my wallpaper behind before it was just kind of a black uh, you know, background. So another thing here the dialer is completely redesigned it's it's actually really cool it's probably one of my favorite features of Android 4.4 KitKat is the dialer is now kind of integrated into Google search to the point where it's it's built, there's those little uh, voice commands, it's built right in with the dialer to the point where it will find everything for you. You go in there, you have your usual contacts as always to go through your friends list, but if you simply start typing something like Best Buy, it finds it for you. It's its own yellow pages. So the dialer has its own yellow pages, it's its own caller ID, it does it all. When you get an incoming call, Google search will actually look up, try to find that phone number for you if it's not in your contacts. And then if something isn't in your contacts, like Best Buy or nearby locations, restaurants, stores, businesses, instead of trying to go find them right in your contact list, right in the dialer, you just start typing pizza. And there you go, some Pizza Hut. So that's another thing. It's all about being easier, faster, more efficient, and just a smarter experience. And that's what we have with Android 4.4 KitKat. Also, Google Hangouts has been completely changed to the point where Google Hangouts is now kind of both messaging and MMS. So you have everything in one. If you go to like, you know, message someone like, you know, your father here, you see the little icon for SMS. What that does is chat and SMS integration is all in one. We no longer have a standard messaging app as before. Again, you can always go into settings, which is kind of a whole new discussion here we'll get to. And uh, go in and add, you know, your own your own SMS application if you you're going to want to use a hand sent or go SMS or any of those so there's no longer a stock one you're going to have to change that and speaking of uh, the settings we have a slightly new icon again everything is white and been slightly changed but uh, we have some tap and pay functions in there for Google Wallet and a few other things NFC is enabled but uh, Google Wallet and the entire kind of NFC payment system has been redesigned with KitKat and we're still kind of waiting to see where Google takes all of that. And then uh, location has been changed where we can control kind of the battery level for how much location services actually use. For those that don't know, location services like GPS, Google Maps sucks your, your battery down very quickly so the option to kind of control that a little deeper is a nice uh, touch. We also have cloud printing. That's another new thing here with Android 4.4 KitKat. Um, it is HP cloud printing, and as we all know, that's you know, cloud printing is never the easiest thing in the world. So it's nice to uh, have a little help there. I tried setting it up and kind of struggled, but uh, HP might be able to help you out. There's also a couple other things. 4.4 has uh, a couple things like infrared support has been enabled of course the Nexus 5 doesn't have infrared but some of those devices like the Google Play Edition Galaxy S4 and HTC One do so we have infrared support we have cloud printing we have screen recording not just screenshots like we're used to but actual screen recording it's not quite as easy of a uh, system as we expected but it is there and available but uh, that was just a quick look at a few of the kind of noticeable visual changes out the gate to Android 4.4 KitKat and of course you can tap that to pull up the dialer and the actual keypad. But that was just a quick look here. Have any questions, let us know. Thanks for watching.